Hey YouTube, another fix it video. This time it's my Samsung LED TV. My daughter was playing the PlayStation and uh, there was a thunderstorm going on outside. And even though we've got some form of uh, suppression on the electricity in feeds, uh, it still caused uh, a malfunction on the TV. I'm just pointing out here the screws you need to undo to take the surrounds off for the, uh, the large plastic area and the feet. Uh, and then the metal plate uh, have also got some screws on. So the metal plate's the first thing that is taken off, uh, and uh, from there that'll expose the power board and the controller board. What you can see now is the controller board, the uh, inputs there for HDMI and SCART, and this is the power board. And my first suspicion was that the power board had actually failed, and the uh, lead that goes from the power board to the main board is providing it with the voltage to drive the main board and that lead uh, is the digital feed to drive the screens of the actual display itself so that's a digital line these are the antennas and speakers and you need to disconnect that and the whole of that board is uh, screwed onto the metal plate as you can see on the edge there um, to access that take off all of the connectors unscrew that um, and uh, the uh, the plastic guard is held onto uh, the actual motherboard so you need to keep that plastic guard so those are the voltage levels i checked the power supply and uh, checked the pins on it and realized that uh, there was no power well the power lines were working uh, but the board was not working itself so i scanned the board and ordered the part uh, make sure you order the right part for this tv there's a load of different variations. If you order the wrong part, basically you'll uh, get the wrong functionality for the TV, but uh, make sure you cross-reference all the serial numbers. Here's the new part. Uh, apparently it's brand new, never opened. Uh, certainly when I opened it up, I couldn't see any dust on it. Looks pretty good. Now I've installed it onto the, uh, the TV itself, uh, only to find that uh, the digital T-Con uh, board was also failed. So when I powered it up, I could hear the uh, the chime uh, from the motherboard uh, and uh, and that kind of stuff but uh, what I didn't get was a picture. Having changed the T-Con and the motherboard and put it all back together I now have a picture on the screen here. Um, pretty straightforward repair uh, at the end of the day uh, just sourcing the motherboard and also the uh, the T-Con was, uh, was able to then bring back uh, the display and the uh, the sound. Just showing you here the menu system going through this just to uh, verify that all the functionality is correct and still the same on the uh, the motherboard as to the original and it appears to be all okay. I've done a thorough check before actually um, recording this video uh, but uh, it, uh, it seems to be all up and running. I'm showing you there an, uh, an HD uh, transmitted over the air picture to give you an idea of the quality of the screen image. 3D functionality on the TV, which was an important part of it, also worked. So I've tried the 3D glasses and a 3D Blu-ray, uh, and that all works. As well as the smart features, which are fairly limited these days, but uh, you can see there, there's some of the smart features that uh, you can bring up. Uh, I'll launch iPlayer, and you can have a look at uh, what uh, iPlayer is. Um, it's now loaded up, but I'm not connected to the internet and haven't logged this TV in, so um, you're not going to see iPlayer logged in, but uh, again, all of that functionality works okay. Uh, backing out of this, just wanted to go back to uh, to show you a screen uh, and show you some of the, uh, uh, the, the, the content that uh, is actually um, being displayed by the TV. Um, I haven't done any of the audio because I'm worried about getting a strike uh, from Amazon if I'm playing any audio content which is copywritten and I hope these small video clips um, are okay but uh, you might just about hear some sound now no oh, I shut the sound off but uh, yeah the volume was quite low that helps other people who may have this type of Panasonic TV and this kind of problem if this helped you please think to like and subscribe always helps us in the world of YouTube many thanks